Hello and welcome to our day three report from the Paris Air Show. You can see behind me the iconic shape of Concorde, that great supersonic air transport sadly consigned to history here at the Le Bourget Museum. But we're going to be looking today at the successor to that great air transport. And I'll be looking at even greater heights as we venture into the matter of space and joining the celebrations of the Apollo moon landings. Supersonic startup Boom was buoyant as it updated the aerospace world on the progress of its overture 75-seat supersonic jet program. The Denver company announced a unique partnership with Prometheus Fuels to supply fuel during the flight test program of the XB-1, Boom's Mach 2.2 demonstrator aircraft, which should fly next year. It will be the world's first supersonic flight using carbon-neutral fuel. They have incredible technology that literally sucks carbon out of the atmosphere and uh, we're partnering with them to turn it into jet fuel. Uh, this will allow us to fly uh, zero carbon with XB-1 next year and then we're working together to bring the same technology uh, to Overture. So supersonic flight cannot just be economical uh, but also environmentally sustainable for the first time. And if there was any doubt that orders are not still top of the agenda, both Airbus and Boeing were signing deals at the show. Confidence in Boeing's beleaguered MAX program uh, had been shown yesterday with IAG signing for 200 of the type, as well as spearheading orders for Airbus A321 XLRs. Engine makers were doing well too as Pratt & Whitney inked an agreement from Chilean discount carrier JetSmart for 185 engines, as well as announcing additional orders for its geared turbofan power plant. And as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the lunar landings, it was great to see NASA rocketing into the show for this year and calling for international partners to help them in the fast track project to return astronauts to the moon. Three of the Apollo astronauts, Al Warden, Charlie Duke and Walter Cunningham were marking the anniversary with a whole series of events at the show, including meeting young people to answer their questions about space exploration. And once again, Houston will be the center of development as Arturo Machuca from Houston Spaceport explains. We just announced uh, uh, that a, a lunar lander that is being built by one company selected by NASA is building that lunar lander at the Houston Spaceport. And for the rotary market, the local interest was really all centered around the Airbus H160M. Now, that's called the Guaypa here, or the Cheetah as we know it. Now the helicopter has been adopted by all three of the French armed forces. The Cheetah will feature new avionics called Flight X, which Thales unveiled at the show. Flight X is our brand new avionic suite, so we are celebrating this year the commercial launch of this solution that has been selected by Airbus helicopters and the French DoD on the H160M, the Gepard helicopter for the French Army. Uh, so it's the result of uh, several years of uh, research starting here at Le Bourget in 2013 with first prototype and now it's a real product. The innovative, connected and intuitive flight deck has touch screen interaction and is flexible to adapt to civil and military, rotary and fixed wing applications. Franco-Italian manufacturer ATR was in the pink while showing its 72-600 at the show it's planning to launch a short takeoff and landing variant called the ATR 42-600S. It was given a kick start today with an order for 10 from Dublin-based lesser Elix Aviation Capital. The aircraft can operate on runways as short as 800 meters. And that's it for today. Uh, join us tomorrow though when we're going to start looking at some of the problems facing training and recruitment within the industry. And I'm going to be looking at some of the new innovative aircraft that we're seeing here at this show. But first we're going to be celebrating the second anniversary of Finn, which is today. So Andy and I have a very important meeting to go to. Cheers. Cheers.